log is like a function. Just like sine is a function and not a number. Sine itself is not a number. Sine of theta is a number. So log log itself is not a number. But log of something can be a number. One can think of it as an operator also. An operator performs operation on something and provides some output. Like sine can also be thought of as an operator. When sine operates upon pi by 3, then you get certain output. How do we define log? 2 to the power 3 is 8. You know that. 3 is called as log of 8 to the base 2. This is not 2 to the power 8. 2 is the subscript. That's why it is called the base. So 3 is log of 8 to the base 2. You can also think of it in this manner. If 3 is log of 8 to the base 2, it means that 2 raised to the power 3 will give 8. It makes sort of a circle. 2 to the power 3 equal to 8. 2 to the power 3 equal to 8. Like that. A clockwise circle. Another example. 2 square is 4. We know that. So this 2 is equal to log of 4 to the base 2. Other way to understand the same thing is that this 2 raised to the power this equal to 4. 2 to the power 2 equal to 4. Now let's generalize that. If b to the power x is n, then x is log of n to the base b. Again, that type of thinking will work. b raised to the power x equal to n. Now, there are some rules. For log to be defined. And these rules are the base should never be 1 and base should be positive and n should be positive. log of what? log of n. So if you are finding log of n, you cannot find log of a negative number. You cannot find log of 0 also. Log is only meaningful when you are finding log of something that is more than 0. Base should also be more than 0. And base should not be 1. If any violation is there out of these three conditions, log is not defined. Theorems involving log.
log of 1 is always 0. This is very easy to prove. Log of 1 is always 0, base can be anything. This is very easy to prove because anything to the power 0 is 1. And therefore, 0 is given by log of 1 to the base b. That b can be anything. So log of 1 is 0 is a theorem. Any questions, let me know. Then, log of something to the same base is always 1. Log of something to the same base is always 1. That is also very easy to prove. Any number you take, raise it to the power 1. What do you get? Any number raised to the power 1 is that number. Now apply the definition of log. So 1 is equal to log of this b to this base b. This b is this b. So log of b to the same base b is 1. So log of 1 is 0. And log of b to the same base is 1. There can be several bases possible. For base there are two rules as you have seen in the previous board. Base cannot be negative. Or let me put it this way. Base is greater than 0 and base is not equal to 1. These are the two conditions on the base. So otherwise bases uh, can be so many. In earlier days log was used as a tool to do calculations. Why? Because when you learn the log theorems, you will see that how multiplication is converted to addition, how division is converted to subtraction, how power is converted to multiplication. Obviously, multiplication is more difficult than addition. Division is more difficult than subtraction. Raising something to a certain power is more difficult than multiplication. So because of the rules of log, calculations became easy that involved log. Some table had some values given already and that table's values were used along with the theorems to simplify calculations. And that table contained log values to a certain base. And that base was 10. The so log table has got log values that are valid for the base 10. 
but now log tables are not really used for calculation purpose because there are several superior options available so log to the base 10 is there but not that useful i would say as far as log tables are concerned but sometimes they can give you the value of certain log for calculation purpose and if that is the case then it could often be to the base 10 there can be several bases I talked about importance of one base 10 and that importance is certainly not increasing in fact it could be diminishing importance wise base 10 but then the other base very commonly used is small e small e is an irrational number whose approximate value is 2.71 this e is quite common in fact you can say it is exclusive whenever we talk about log in in the context of calculus for example then this is exclusive various formula in, in physics and chemistry both that involve integration have got log and that log has to be to the base e so log to the base e is very 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 common but since calculations uh, have a historical background and those calculations were based on log uh, 10 base 10 was the base so often it's a practice that once you integrate and you get the formula in log e you convert base e to base 10 it is very easy to convert from one base to the other base so if you pick up some physics textbook or chemistry textbook then you may find out that log 10 is still in use I mean base 10 is still in use that's because first after integration it is base E and that base E has been intentionally changed to base 10 right but commonly you will encounter base E in calculus uh, everywhere in calculus in calculus is huge so that's about two commonly used bases 10 and E let's do the next theorem as I said multiplication is converted to addition log of m into n is log of m plus log of n you can take any base you want this rule will work it will also work for three numbers four numbers five numbers say log of m into n into p or log of m into n into p into q into r into s all multiplication will be converted to addition the proof is very easy let's look at the RHS log 
m to the base b that we are taking as x log m to the base b and log n to the base b that we are taking as y x and y are just any two numbers now if x is log m to the base b then b raised to the power x is going to be m and b raised to the power y is going to be n multiply these two equations b to the power x equal to m and b to the power y equal to n so you get b to the power x into b to the power y equal to m into n but you know this result is become b to the power x plus y m into n and now apply the definition of log again so x plus y is log of m n to this space b what was x x was this what was y y was this there you are hence proved any questions let me know next zero as i said earlier division is converted to subtraction log of m by n to any base is log of m minus log of n same base base should not change on the right hand side method to prove is similar let's take one of them as x other one as y from the definition m is b to the power x n is b to the power y we want m by n so consider m by n this upon this b to the power x upon b to the power y which is b to the power x minus y now apply the definition of log m upon n is this okay one more step i think we can do writing in reverse order so b to the power x minus y is this so x minus y is log of m by n which base this base but x is this and y is this put those and you have got the result any questions let me know next word you will see the more general 
type of situation for multiplication p, q, r, s, t and so on. So it will be log p plus log q plus log r plus log s plus log t and so on. Base should be the same. Division also can have more complications, P, Q, R, S, T and so on upon A, B, C, D and so on. So first we apply log of numerator minus log of denominator. If numerator has got several multiples P, Q, R, S, T, then it would become log of P plus log of Q plus log of R, log of S, log of T and so on. Here also denominator we have got several multiples a, b, c, d in and so on, log of a plus log of b plus log of c plus log of d and so on, there is a minus sign outside. So that will go to everybody, minus log a, minus log b, minus log c, minus log d, minus log e and so on. Okay. As I said earlier, power becomes multiplication. So log of m to the power n becomes n times log m. Base is the same. Proof. Consider RHS. Log m to the base b. Let's take it as x. So from the definition of log, m will be b to the power x. We want m to the power n. So raising both sides to the power n. Raising both sides to the power n. b to the power x whole to the power n b to the power n x. Okay? Just writing it in reverse order. b to the power n x equal to m to the power n. So, n x, applying the definition of log, n x equal to log of m to the power n, same base b. But, x is log of m to the base p. Copying this part, we have already got the result. So power becomes multiplication. Earlier I talked about change of base, like base E converted to base 10, for example. This particular theorem can work that way. In this theorem, there are two bases that are used. All the previous theorems that we have discussed, whether it is multiplication, division, power, in all the three, base was only one, everywhere. Here you will see two different bases in use. One base is A, other base is B. So it is not A to the power M, 
b to the power m a to the power b a b and a are all bases so proof let left one be x this be y and this be z yes this is x then this is y and this is z if this is x then from the definition of log m will be a to the power x if this is y then m will be b to the power y and if this is z then b will be a to the power z 1 2 and 3 this is also m this is also m so i can write a to the power x equal to b to the power y i want to prove x is equal to y z right i want the relationship between x y and z x y and z so i have to get rid of m a b so getting rid of m a b that is the intention since at two places we have got m equal to m equal to think and in the third one m is not coming we have immediately succeeded in removing m so a to the power x is equal to b to the power y m is gone now we have to get rid of a and b third one has b as a to the power z so we can get rid of b immediately a to the power x equal to a to the power z whole to the power y so b is also gone now from this we have to get rid of a and that should be it a to the power x is equal to a to the power y z obviously if this if these numbers are equal then powers must be equal also x equal to y z we already got it what we wanted x equal to y z now in this if you have any questions then let me know
Now look at the top and imagine that uh, the two bases you are dealing with are 10 and E. 10 and E. And let's say the figures we have got are for to the base 10. Okay? You want to get rid of base E. Suppose I want log of uh, anything to the base E. Anything, 100 or whatever, to the base E. Say I want log of, uh, let's say 7. I want log of 7 to the base E. M is 7. Okay, I want log of 7 to the base E. Now, this can be written as this. Correct? M is 7. B is E. And I don't have that information. I have the old log tables and they all have values to the base 10. I don't have a modern calculator that can tell me log 7 to the base E or a computer that can tell me log 7 to the base E. I have got the old log tables. So, I use this. This is 7, B is E, and I choose A equal to 10. Right? So I have got log of 7 to the base 10 divided by log of E to the base 10. Both values are to the base 10. And I have values available for base 10. So my problem is solved. There is a sort of corollary here. To get that corollary, look at the bottom. Log of A to the base B is equal to 1 upon log of B to the base A. Proving this corollary is extremely easy. The top result we already have. Just put m equal to a in that. So what will happen? Log of a to the base a, log a to the base b, and just copy this. Log a to the base a is 1. Now from here you can easily get this. And that is very important, this corollary. They just interchange their positions. Base and the number whose log you are trying to find. They just interchange their position, positions.
Okay, applications. Log 144, base is 2 root 3. We have to find this without any assistance from log table. Just using the theorems and definitions. So let the answer be x. If x is the answer, then it would mean 2 root 3 to the power x is 1, 4, 4. One four four is 12 square. 12 is 4 into 3. 3 is root 3 square, 4 is 2 square. So 4 into 3 is 2 root 3 square. Copy this 2. 2 into 2 equal to 4. 2 root 3 to the power 4. 2 root 3, 2 root 3. x, x, I mean 4, so x, it has to be x only here also x equal to 4. Any questions? Let me know. Find the base if the logarithm of 81 is 4. This is for you to do on your own. Try to do it and see if you are getting 3. Any problem, let me know. So 3. Answer is given as 3, so if you got it fine, any questions let me know or we move on. This is somewhat bigger but is straightforward only. All theorems, practice of theorems basically, application. 36 is 6 square, 25 is 5 square. So this is 6 by 5 square. Then 16 is 2 to the power 4. 125 is 5 cube. Uh, 
and the 6 and 27 3 will cut this 3 will cut this also 9 2 2 by 9 6 by 5 whole square power theorem 2 will come out log of 6 by 5 So after 3 cancels it becomes 2 by 9 Here it is 2 to the power 4 but 5 is cube different powers not great So what if we write it as 4 square and upon 5 square as one group 1 by 5 separate there can be different approaches on how to handle this. This is just one approach. This is log m by n rule. Log m minus log n. 6 is multiplied to both of them. Again, log m by n rule. Log m minus log n. 3 is multiplied to both of them. Then here, we can treat this whole thing as one unit and treat this uh, thing as another unit and apply log m into n formula. So log m 4 by 5 square plus log n 2 will be multiplied to both of them this 2 and then this 2 will come out 2 into 2 is 4 so I am just making this fellow as 4 so we have got this whole thing and this 6 can be written as 2 into 3 log m into n rule log 2 plus log 3 6 will be multiplied to both of them copy this thing, copy this, this you can make as 9 square, I mean 3 square, 9 as 3 square, 3 square means 2 into 3 is 6, log 3, this you can write as uh, log 4 minus log 5, log 5, this is 4 multiplied, log 4, this 4 multiplied, so this is actually 4 here, 4 here, 4, 4, 4, 5. Log m by n, log m minus log n. What is log of 1? What is log of 1? So zero. Zero. So only log five will survive here. Now this four log four, this four can be written as two square. Two square. That power rule square will make it eight. Four into two is eight. Now do the grouping. Four plus two is six. This is six. Six log three, six log three. Now log two, six plus three, nine minus eight. 9 minus 8 is 1. So we have got just 1 times log 2 or log 2 itself. So log 2 should be the final answer. Any questions? Let me know.
Next, simplify this whole thing. Log off this whole thing to the base 2 and then it goes on. Finally, it is 16 here. Focus on this 16. Write it as 2 to the power 4. 4 will come outside. Log 2 to the base 2. Log 2 to the base 2 is 1. So, this part becomes 4. So, log 2, log 2, 4. Then write this 4 as Two square, then this two will come out. The so two times log two to the base two, but log two to the base two is one, so it will be just two. So we have log this whole thing is two to the base this two, log two to the base two is one, which is the final answer. Any questions? Let me know. Yes, just go ahead. Sir, I did not get the question. What is that log 2 into log? No, it is not into. Log uh, of this whole thing. Log of this whole thing to the base 2. And sir, got it. Anything else or we move on? These are two equations where x and y are the variables and m and n are constants. You have to solve for log x and log y. So treat log x as one variable, log y as another variable. Detail working is not necessary. So that's your assignment, we stop now.